Let's go to James chapter 1, verses 12 through 16. To the left is the King James Version, to the right is the Expanded Bible. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. So this is saying, you are blessed when you endure temptation. So, when you are tempted and you resist sinning, you are blessed. It may not feel that way to go through temptations and be tempted to do wrong, but you are blessed when you resist sinning. For when he is tried, so this can mean she as well, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So, when you continue down that path of resisting sin, going through your temptations, and resisting sin, you will receive the crown of life when you die. So we know that we love God is when we follow his rules and regulations. So for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. So we love God when we follow his rules and regulations. So if you are not doing that, you can't say that you love God. You can't say that. Okay. Verse 13. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. So when you are being tempted, you can't say that God is tempting you. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. So this is saying God cannot be tempted with evil, and he does not tempt any man, any man or woman as well. Okay, 14. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Enticed is persuaded. So you are tempted because you are interested in some type of sin. Now, you may be living for God now, but for instance, myself, back in the past, I was really interested in sexual things. You know, I would have sex before marriage, I would watch pornographic stuff, sexual things that was something I was really into at that time period. So now that I live for God, demons try to push me toward that area because they know that at one time it is or it was something I was really interested in. Because it was a major part of my life back then. So, I am not tempted with having sex with another man. Why? Because I am not interested in it. So, I am not tempted in that sin. I am not tempted with popping pills, meaning taking pills to get high. Why? Because I am not interested in stuff like that. So wherever your interest is, you are going to be tempted in those areas. Makes sense, right? So usually from what my, or from my understanding, you are going to be tempted with something or some things that you did or still do a lot of. Makes sense, right? 
And if you go back to verse, what's it? What is it? Verse 12. This is saying that everyone is tempted. So everyone is tempted by or with something. So either some sins or one sin. Even if you don't carry it out, there is some type of interest there. Makes sense, right? Okay. Where am I? Let's go to verse 15. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. So what does that mean? Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. So when you desire something so much, pretty soon you are going to do it. You are going to say it. That sinful thing. Now, this is saying if you are desiring something that is wrong. So when you are desiring something wrong, it is going to bring forth sin. So if you desire to have sex before marriage and stuff like that, and you are constantly contemplating on it, pretty soon you are going to do it. So whatever wrong thing that you are contemplating on or desiring, you are going to do it or say it. Okay. And sin, when it is finished, bring it forth death so sin brings forth death so when you are constantly and consistently sinning you have to know that you are bringing forth death or you are hurting yourself so if sin brings forth death you can also say that sin brings forth negative things so sin can also bring forth sickness either physical or mental i'm telling you so we have to be careful that we are not disobeying god okay verse 16 do not err my beloved brethren so obey god stay away from sin as much as possible of course people are going to make mistakes everyone makes mistakes even i but you don't want to get to the point where you are consistent in sinning you have an issue there which we all were at at one time so don't give up does that make any sense so we learned that <clears throat> God does not tempt us we are tempted because we are interested in some type of sin in some way or form or at one time we were doing this sin or sins so much that demons try to push us back on that path so still you can pretty much say that in some way or form you are interested in that sin does that make any sense so how can you lose interest in that sin or sins well you have to get closer to God and the way that you can accomplish that well what we all need to do is read our Bible more we need to pray more we need to fast more no eating or drinking for a certain time period for God so we need to draw closer to God makes sense right 
So, maybe I should not talk about that right now. I don't want to confuse anyone. So, let me stop right here. God bless.